I can tell you're not from around here, traveller. Or you wouldn't have that thing lit during this hour. Are you trying to attract monsters to your camp? Or are you just a complete idiot? <laughs> now, what are you going to do with that? I suggest you lower your weapon before you get hurt. You're alone in the woods. You have very poor quality armor, and it's virtually pitch black out. Not to mention the fact you're threatening a naga. Tell me, my darling, are you scared of snakes? <laughs> well, you should be. However, lucky for you, I don't particularly like the taste of human meat. It kind of tastes like pork, but without the uh, delicious textures. <laughs> so no, I'm not here to make you into my evening meal. <sighs> I thought I told you to lower that... <coughs> ah. <laughs> now what are you going to do, human? I'm wrapped around you like a boa constrictor. What's your next move? You're disarmed and you're immobilized. Are you going to buy me? Ooh, such language. How unbecoming of a would-be knight. Whatever happened to chivalry? I told you that sword of yours would be useless against me. Only the strongest of warriors can pierce my scales. And you sure as shit don't look like one of the strongest warriors. No offence, of course. Just get on with it, you say. I'm not here to kill you, you blithering idiot. As I said, I'm here out of the kindness of my heart. Now, I'm going to uncoil my body from around you. And when I do let you go, I expect you not to try anything funny. And that's for your sake, not mine. Very good. I see you're starting to grasp the gravity of the situation you're currently in. Okay then, I'll let you go now. There you are. And no harm done. Believe me, if I wanted to, I could have crushed your bones into dust the very moment I wrapped around you. So you should have known I wasn't going to hurt you from the get-go. You haven't met many Nagas, have you? You're very unfamiliar of what we're capable of. Why didn't I kill you? Because for the millionth time, I mean you no harm. Quite the opposite, actually. I've come here to warn you. There's a group of raiders not far from here. There's about three goblins and two orcs that make up the pack. And although they have a pretty pathetic sense of smell, their vision is quite formidable. And if they spot the light from your fire, they'd more than likely come over here and... <laughs> well, I'm sure, unlike me, they enjoy the taste of human flesh. So, I'm going to put this out now and save you the trouble. Uh, uh. Why did I help you? And what do I want from you? Nothing. There's nothing you have to offer me I can't already get out here. I simply did this so the impending racket from you being slaughtered by goblins and orcs didn't wake me up. Now, 
I hope you'll be more careful in the future. And if you don't mind me asking, why exactly are you in this part of the forest? The Hydrian swamps are infamous for being some of the worst and most dangerous places in the realm. You really are an idiot, aren't you? You're on the run from someone. Why? Do you owe them a debt, perhaps? Or have I mistakenly saved a criminal? If I knew you were evil, I wouldn't have been so generous with my time. Ah, I see. So, you're on the run from the corporal, are you? <laughs> I've heard all about him. He's a slave owner and a pirate. I've heard he takes people from the villages he pillages and makes them work aboard his ship. Once you're no longer of use to him, he leaves you on an uncharted island to fend for yourself, doesn't he? He's a real bastard. I won't ask any further questions about how you ended up in his bad graces, because I'm sure it wasn't your fault, or even how you escaped his captivity from him, though I'm sure it's a very interesting story. But I will say this, hiding out in this neck of the woods is a bad idea. You'd be much safer heading to the Inner Kingdom, where you could seek refuge and be protected by the King and his magical powers. If I were you, I'd head north immediately. And do just that. Go be safe. Because it sounds like you deserve it. I gathered that much. You ran in here because you knew the pirates wouldn't follow you. But as I've said, this place will kill you much quicker than they ever could. There's a reason why a band of terrible, terrible people don't want to come here. Because it's dangerous to even the most dangerous of men. Oh, I didn't realise you weren't native from these lands. I knew you weren't from the swamp, obviously, and I knew you probably weren't from the kingdom, but I didn't realise you weren't from the, the realm itself. Gosh, those bastards must have dragged you from quite a way away then. I know I said I wouldn't ask, but how did you even escape them? <laughs> I'm half snake, and yet you would rival me in terms of slipperiness. So, you hid in a barrel and you got unloaded when the ship docked at the port for a resupply. If that's the case, then how do you know they're even after you, if you hid so cleverly from them? Ah, well, that would do it. So, you say you jumped out of the barrel too early, and then you bolted off into the woods and they saw the whole thing. And you've been running and hiding from them for the best part of the day to escape them. You're quite the impressive human, I have to say. That couldn't have been easy. You know, in a past life, before I retired to live in these swamps... I used to guard the weak from people like the men who are after you. 
At one point, I'd have jumped at the opportunity to destroy a band of pirates. But those days are long gone. However, I feel like you deserve a break from your (laughs) horrendously bad luck. And considering I snuffed out your fire without your consent earlier, it's only fair I keep you warm and safe tonight. So how about it? Do you want me to help you? Because I'm feeling very kind. Well, like I was saying, talking to you and hearing what you've been through reminded me of a time I'd all but forgotten about. I wouldn't be doing my past self justice if I let you die out here. Not when I can easily do something to prevent that from happening. Because trust me, if those pirates were stupid enough to attack you while I'm around, I'll make sure none of them leave here alive. No matter how many there are. Well, in order to keep you warm and safe, I was planning on coiling around you again, loosely, so you could lay down and sleep, knowing nothing can reach you. My body will act like walls, protecting you from the outside world. My scales are very soft, all things considered. (laughs) Plus, we Naga have full control over our anatomy so I can heat myself up and keep myself warm during the night. How does that sound? Well, okay then. Lay back down and let me wrap around you. Are you comfortable? Good. I'll just move into place then. Uh, uh, uh. There you are. Uh, uh. You can hold on to me if you like. That's not a problem at all. (laughs) I haven't been held like this in a very long time. I wasn't expecting you to (laughs) cuddle me like you are. You think I'm really cosy for a snake? And you're really grateful. Hmm. You're welcome. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. And once the sun has come up, I'll escort you towards the kingdom. The guards will see to it that you're taken care of. Tell them I sent you. Trust me. They'll be more than willing to do anything for you with my blessing. No, of course not. They're not scared of me. I'm well known by the king. You didn't think I was just anyone's ex-bodyguard, did you? We Naga are made to fight. And I can protect even the most vulnerable of people. From the most vicious of attacks. Not that the king ever needed it though, with his control over water. (laughs) Show off. Even when he was younger, he was so... (sighs) Self-sufficient, I guess. You want to hear my story? Well, if that's true then, I'll tell you the next time we meet. How about that? Because next time you won't be cold and starving, and running for your life. So come back here and visit me, and I'll tell you everything. 
Oh, and you won't need to worry about any monsters. It's been a while since I've had someone to talk to like this. Or even someone show interest in me. Thank you, my darling. You're very sweet. I got a large part of that statement wrong. Well, do tell me, what exactly did I just say that wasn't accurate? You're not cold. And you're not running for your life. Because I've saved you. <laughs> yeah, maybe I did. I'm so glad to hear you aren't cold, thanks to my body. Bet you didn't think a cold-blooded snake could be so warm, did you? <laughs> you didn't think they could be so wonderful, either. Oh, well, that's simply sublime. Thank you. Please, sleep now, sweetheart. Your eyes are drooping. Let this naga keep you warm and safe. As long as you need me. <laughs> I actually feel happy for once. Maybe... Maybe I should return to being a hero. <laughs> How truly wonderful. Thank you.